accused mass shooters housed underneath one roof. Tonight, the suspects are in isolation cells at the Davidson County Jail, but still just a few feet from each other. Both are now deemed fit to stand trial, and the sheriff tells News Channel 5's Nick Barris they will be closely monitored while awaiting those trials. There are questions about the sanity of the two accused killers. One just returned from a mental evaluation and was deemed fit to stand trial. And the Davidson County Jail is in the unique position tonight of housing both as the prosecutions now move forward. There is Emmanuel Sampson, the suspect in the mass shooting at the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ in Antioch in September of last year. He's charged with killing Melanie Crow and injuring several others. Being a Christian, it doesn't stop the nightmares. Then there is Travis Ranking. Seven months after the Burnett Chapel shootings, police say Ranking targeted an Antioch Waffle House. He's accused of killing four people, Torian Sanderlin, Joe Perez, Diebony Groves, and Aquila Da Silva. When he first came in and all this was happening, was he competent at that time? The answer was no. Ranking was sent to Middle Tennessee Mental Health for an evaluation of schizophrenia and just last week was deemed fit to stand trial. Ranking said as much when I asked him about his mental fitness during an exclusive phone interview earlier this year. Yeah, no, I'm perfectly healthy. So now Davidson County Sheriff Darren Hall says Ranking is back in the jail, locked up just down from Samson. It would be in what we call restrictive housing. It's restricted to 22 hours a day uh, in your cell. There's two hours a day where you would be out. Could the two accused killers talk to each other? They could have conversation. They shouldn't have contact and conversation as in because these are doors and they're in a, you know, in a wreck area, they could communicate if they wanted to um, through metal doors. Sheriff Hall won't say if the two have interacted, but he says the jail staff monitors any such conversations. And if those conversations actually happen, anything the suspects may say could potentially be used against them by prosecutors. Both men will, of course, remain locked up pending trials, which could come sometime late next year. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thanks. The charges against Travis Ranking will soon be presented to the grand jury. No word yet on the status of the case against Sampson.